Hi everybody, it's Scott here and welcome to the next part where we're now going to add in our laser shooting sounds. Um, this is quite a short one because it's relatively easy, but just to explain the process. So we're going to go into a uh, script, uh, control and U. And what we're going to be working in is our player script. So make sure you're inside the player script. And what we want to do is we want to add in a sound file every time we spawn our bullet prefab. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move our delay across a bit to about there. We might move some of this across just to give ourselves some room. It doesn't really matter, but you do want to be nice and tidy. And what we're going to do is to look, to use audio, we have to first of all do uh, one or two things. The first thing we have to do is load in the audio clip and then we need to assign a variable to the audio clip. So let's look at, at how to assign the audio clip first. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in a graph event. So at the start of this graph, we want to um, load an audio clip. So we're going to type in load audio clip and pick that. So on graph enable, we're going to load in an audio clip. We're going to click on the node and then we're going to, whoops, we're going to go into our asset path and hit browse. And this is going to find all the audio clips inside our resources folder. And what we want to do is we want to choose this one called um, uh, laser and hit select. So now what that's done is it's loaded the audio clip into this graph so we can use it inside of Uscript. But what we need to do is we then need to go and bring the asset and load it into a audio clip variable. So we're going to right click and we're going to add a variable called audio clip. And with that, we're then going to hook it up. I'm just going to move this across a wee bit. And what we want to do now is then play our sound. So in the search, we're going to type in, it's very easy, play sound. And we're going to hit play sound. And what we want to do is I'm just going to look at this. As soon as we finish spawning, I'm just going to delete this wire. As soon as we finish spawning, we're going to play a sound. I'm just going to move that into there. As soon as the sound is finished, then we're going to throw in our delay. Like so. So we're just reorganizing that a wee bit. Now, the audio clip is going to be this variable, this loaded in um, audio clip that's been stored in this variable. So we're just going to go from audio clip into that variable. So that's the sound now linked up. The last thing we need to do is now link up where the sound is actually going to come from. So really it can come from one of two places. The sound can be played where your camera is, so you'll always hear it. Or you can play the sound on the bullet and then the bullet will then whiz off and you'll hear it kind of go off into the distance. Either or is fine. We're just going to start off with something simple and we're just going to choose, um, we're just going to want it to play where the player is. So all we're going to do is we're going to right click add a variable owner game object and we're going to plug that into the target. So now every time the bullet prefab is spawned it's going to play a sound. Uh, this audio clip here that's loaded into the variable and it's going to play it um, inside the player game object. We're just going to save this and wait for that to compile. Come out of that and hit play. So I have my game music, I'm just going to hold down space. Oh, I actually broke the delay a wee bit, so I'm just going to turn that off. That was slightly unexpected. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to delete the play sound. Um, or sorry, I'm not going to delete the play sound. I'm going to change it from, I'm going to tick off finished and just go from out into start delay. What was happening there, folks, was that as soon as the sound was finished, then the delay would play. So we actually had a bit of a delay in there um, on top of that delay. So rather than going from finished, we're just going from out. And that should fix our issues. Just going to hit save and wait for that to compile. So it's finished spawning, it's going to play a sound and immediately after it's going to go into our delay. So we shouldn't have any um, delays. And there we go. Just to make it easier for you to hear, I'm just going to turn off my uh, audio. I'm going to go into my main camera and I'm just going to mute my music. And you can hear my uh, 
my audio plane. Okay. If we actually look at our player, whenever you um, play the sound, it's actually automatically creating an audio source for us, which is very handy. Um, so you don't have to worry about creating an audio source automatically. Okay, and that is that folks. Um, I will see you all in the next video.